What happens when you give an 18-year-old keys to a TV studio? You get inside entertainment. This suburban kid's attempted a TV show featuring my favorite music, arts, and entertainment. This clip from The Vault is dated December 26, 1990, with host Carmi Rainsford Paulson. Lydia Lunch and Wanda Coleman recently went on the road to bring their audiences their brand of poetry and spoken word. The duo skillfully stated their views of issues ranging from love to hate to crime. Larry Lewis has more. Lydia Lunch is well known for her solo music, as well as her work with bands such as Teenage Jesus and the Jerks, Eight-Eyed Spy, and Beirut Slump. Since those early years, she has turned her writing talents to a new format, Spoken Word. She's released several Spoken Word records on her own Widow Speak label, and most recently teamed up with poet Wanda Coleman. Coleman herself is native to Los Angeles and has been writing and reading to audiences locally for over 20 years. Together they went on the road, speaking to audiences in several states. Coleman has published six books of her writings that speak of the harsh cruelty of everyday life. His eyes into the room, shattering silence, a gun full of bullets. This one for you, this one for your lover, this one for me. Click, click in the chamber, jealousy high. Humbuggering ain't out of fashion. Evolution will never make this animal extinct. It's in the soil, air, radiates down from the sun. His hand, pretty heavy metal against my temple. Like that, I'm in to next week pushing up old friends and newspaper headlines. A seance to call back dead poems. A black man in love was hit by a truck while being chased by angry whites. He sustained severe head and chest injuries. He sustained mind and heart trauma, deadly blows to his ego, to his economic status, to his dance rhythm. He was walking with her, his white girlfriend, she screamed, she went into shock. Miss Lunch, however, is out on a mission this time to gather support for her own foundation, The Conspiracy of Women. This just so happens to also be the title of her upcoming spoken word release. Being a former New Yorker, Miss Lunch has been witness to the ever increasing problem of criminal violence. To this, she offers her rather radical solutions. Women only perpetrate 13.3% of the crime that happens, so why the hell should we have to mingle with the other 87%? Think about it. You know, my problem is I don't want to stop at subways. I say streets, cities, countries, continents, planets, worlds run by and for women just for a change. Let's see if it works. Oh, you're nervous. Visitor passes? I doubt it. What pisses me off about prison besides the fact that it doesn't work is that I don't want to put my tax dollars. What we need to do, if you want to get real about it, we need to improve the quality of punishment. And that's why we here at the Conspiracy of Women, Cal for short, are out here tonight enlisting your support. You know, punishment, think about it, it's a necessary evil. It's as old as the hills, but it's got to be executed correctly. And I am here to instruct, because deliberate attention, it has got to be paid to each stroke, each lash, each lynching, each execution. It's simple. Punishment rendered for crimes committed. And you know, authority, I'm not making it up. Authority is dictated to me by the voice of nature herself. Together, the ladies skillfully speak their mind about the state that the world is in, and without too much verbal abuse, they offer their sarcastic condolences. For Inside Entertainment, I'm Larry Lewis. Lydia Lunch's new release, Conspiracy of Women, will be coming soon, as well as Coleman's release, Black and Blue News, both on Widow's Peak label. Up next, we'll tell you about the latest home video release and the latest film to reach the big screen, such as Tim Burton's fantasy tale, Edward Scissorhands. That's next, so please stay tuned.
Inside Entertainment with Carmi Rainsford-Paulson. Produced and voiced by Lawrence T. Lewis.